Hi guys, it's me. Um, like I promised, I am sending a video about some one of my favorite activities, which is seed planting in the spring. And I thank Wesley and Wyatt for sharing that they have also got that same um, interest and passion and that they have already started their gardens. I usually start mine right about now, right when the spring equinox happens. So yesterday, today, tomorrow, as those these are the first days of spring. So these are the days that I think about planting seeds. Um, so I am going to just kind of show you how I go about things and maybe it will inspire you to do some of your own seed planting. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and there's our book that we read yesterday, A Seed is Sleepy. And I love that book. It's got so much information in it. I have learned so many things. And every time I read it, I learn something new. I don't always catch everything. I don't think anybody does. So if you read something over and over again, you learn something new pretty much every time. Until you know everything, right? Um, so these are the things that I use when I plant seeds. So I have here, a set of these they're called peat pots so they're they're just like little sections and we did this when we planted the morning glories um we used these um and so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna use that and a big bowl full of dirt just like we did when we were planting the morning glory so i just put it in the bowl of dirt because otherwise the dirt kind of gets everywhere so I'm going to put that in there and then I just kind of sprinkle it in and I'm kind of, see how I'm moving my hand, rubbing the dirt? Because you don't want big chunks to go in there. You want it to kind of be nice and soft and silty and not have big chunks in there. That's not a big problem if you have big chunks, but it's kind of better if you don't. And you want to fill it up, yeah, not quite all the way. Right, because you want to put your seeds on top of there, and then you can put more dirt once your seeds are in there. So about, I would call that two thirds or three quarters of the way. See that? And then my favorite part is picking out the seeds. So I went to the store the other day, and I actually went and got a whole bunch of seeds, and I'm going to show you the ones that I got. I got early green broccoli and chamomile flowers. Oh, I love chamomile. This is what chamomile tea is made from, these flowers. So if you've ever had chamomile tea, that's this. I'm gonna grow some. My daughter really likes it. This is arugula, it's like a lettuce. Maybe some of you have tasted it before. It's a little bit bitter and a little, maybe sometimes it's a little bit spicy. So uh, if you like that, arugula is a good one. I also got this really pretty purple sunflower mix. I'm gonna try it out, I've never tried this before. I'm gonna try that. And some dinosaur kale. I love the name. Do you love that name? I bet you guys love that name. If I grow a bunch, I'll bring you all a plant and you can have your own dinosaur kale. We'll see how they come up. <laughs> and some parsley and some basil, and some cilantro. I use this a lot. My whole family uses this a lot. This is something that's used a lot in Puerto Rican cooking, so we always have cilantro. And this is celery. I'm gonna try it. I haven't grown celery here before. I grew it in Puerto Rico, but I've never tried it here. So this is called Utah celery. I'm gonna see what happens. I'm gonna just do experiments. And this is spinach. It's called spinach butterfly. Not butterfly, butterfly. We'll see about that. And look, Wyatt, I have cucumbers too. Market more cucumbers. So I'm gonna maybe, hmm, I gotta decide which one this is gonna be. This one, maybe I'll make this one the cucumber one, right? I'll just kind of go along with Wyatt's plan and I'll make a whole tray that's just cucumbers. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna take my watering can. Oh, and these are some plants I got yesterday at the store. This one is garden sage. Oh, if you rub the leaf and then you smell it, mm, it smells so good. And then this one is dill. 
my daughter likes to cook with dill, so I got her a dill plant. So I got those two plants. I'm going to put those maybe in pots or out in the garden when the weather gets a little bit warmer. It's still a little too cold to put things outside because it can still freeze, so we don't want to do that. We want to start these these seeds inside and take care of them. Like Wyatt had that heating blanket, right? So that they like to stay warm. They like to stay inside for a little bit until they know they're not going to freeze. So I got my watering can here, and I'm just going to give these a drink. I'm trying to get the soil moist before I put the seeds in. And then remember we talked about how the soil is actually like a um, sponge. It's like a big sponge. It holds the water and it releases it little bit by little bit by little bit as the seeds need it. So we want to kind of get the soil wet. Maybe I'll tuck it down a little bit. Put a little bit more in here. That's a lot of water. But that's okay. Water's good. You have to keep seeds moist all the time or else they dry up. You don't want your seeds to dry up. You want to keep them a little bit moist all the time. Okay, that one worked. That's good. This one's still a little wet. Let's put a little bit more in there. Mix it up. You just got to feel. You don't want to puddle. You want it to feel like a really wet sponge. That's what you're going for. There, that's better. Good. Yeah, that's better. Better. Good. All right, so now we've got some nice wet, dirt. And in a little bit, I'm going to send you um, a reading of a book about dirt, about soil. But right now, I'm going to open up my cucumber seeds. So I'm actually going to put this down for just a second. I only have two hands, and I need them both for opening up my seeds. Okay, so here's the seed package. Inside are all those little seeds. Can you see them? I'll pour them out on the table. There they are. Pile of seeds. Oh, you can even see them better when I move my knee. So I'm going to plant maybe two or three in each little section. Let's see. Here, let me put one, two, one more. Right? Maybe you can count with me and make sure I get it right. One, two, oh, two fell in at the same time. Three. One, two, three. One, two. And three. Let's see, maybe. One, two, three. Two, three, and the last one is going to get one, two, three. There, there's three in each. See that? Farmer Jones. You could be farmers too. Remember we practiced being farmers last time we were together? We were figuring out the different corn and nuts combinations or corn and beans combinations. Yeah, so you could be a farmer too. Let's see here. Let's cover it up. We're just going to put a little bit. Now each seed has a different thing that it likes. So some seeds like to be buried deep and some seeds like to just be buried kind of just right almost to the surface of the dirt. Cucumber seeds, they kind of like it in between. So I just usually cover them up with a little sprinkle of dirt. See that? I can't see the seeds anymore because they also like it to be they like a nice, dark, warm, cozy blanket of dirt. And they like to stay in the dark a little bit. That's actually what inspires them to put their rootlets out and find the light. They want to find the light so that they can make their food with the leaves like we talked about yesterday in the book, right? Photosynthesis is when the leaves come out and they catch the sun. They're like little solar panels and they catch the sun and they make their food that way. But before that, the first thing that comes out, like Jude told us, is that little rootlet. And a real little rootlet likes it to be dark. It really does. So we covered those 
seeds up with a little blanket so they're in the dark and now we'll just give them a little bit more water. Now when you plant your seeds, if you plant some seeds, which I hope you do, like I said you can use anything. You can use seeds out of your um, apple or out of your cucumber or look and see what you find throughout the day when you're eating things. See what you find that could be a seed. You might be surprised how many seeds you find. You could try planting rice. I've tried planting rice, um, but it seems to only sprout if it's a rice kernel that has the husk around it, which is very, not very common. Usually if you get brown basmati rice, there might be a couple of kernels in there that still has this, it's like, almost looks like a corn husk, like that leathery hard shell that goes around the corn that we peel down those um those those leaves that the husk that we pull down off of corn when you eat corn on the cob it's kind of looks like that on the rice too so if you can find rice like that then then you can plant it um but you want to keep your seeds happy you want to keep them wet but you don't want to drown them so you want to when you're when you're taking care of seeds you want to just feel the soil and if the soil feels nice and damp, like a nice damp sponge, then leave it alone. Then you're good. You know you got what you need. If it feels dry or if like it starts to kind of come away from the side, then you know you need to water. Then you definitely need to water your seeds. And then in a few days, your seeds should be popping up. So I wish you happy seed planting. I'm going to come back to my face. I wish you very happy seed planting. Um, if you have questions or anything that you wanted to ask about or talk about, about seed planting, then you can send me an email and I can answer you. You can think of what you want to write and maybe your parent can help you type it up. Or maybe you could type it up. Maybe you're able to say what you want to say. Um, and I will answer you. I will tell you the answer if I know it. Um, or I'll help you to figure it out yourself. So I hope you enjoy planting some seeds today or tomorrow or this weekend or next week, whenever you want to or are feeling so inclined. And I'm going to send you a story about dirt. And I might even send you another story about seeds. Um, and I will see you guys very soon.